Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last session we started and completed the Golems of Amgarak DLC and that just leaves one remaining DLC in the whole game which is Witch Hunt. I'm very excited. Let's go. We are of course importing our boy, our best boy. Uh... We now have three to choose from. I assume the newest one is... Yeah, level 35 mage. So that must have been created from the end of Amgarak. So that is the one we will be going for, of course. Now I assume this is something to do with Morrigan disappearing Flemeth at the end. once told me that temptation lies in the forbidden. Yup. <laughs> it is about Morrigan. Nice. Do not follow me, I said. Harder words I have never spoken. Some doors should never be reopened. Hello, Woofer. Uh, our scouts are a woman here. Do you think it's Morgan? <laughs> and make her pay. You'll help me get the child back. This, this is not. I'm not. I'm not looking to hurt her or steal the child. I'm looking for answers. We'll find Morrigan. I promise. I just want to know. I want to know what she's up to with the child and like, just generally what the plan is. But I don't want to fucking kill her or nab the child. Like, well, maybe I do want to nab the child. I mean, it depends what Morrigan's plan is. <laughs> I'm guessing she's not just planning to be a great mum. So, we'll see. We'll find Morrigan. I promise. Whoa, what? Oh, wait, it's a different dog? It's not Woofer? Sag. Woofer Jr. There we go. Man, that's sad that it's not. There we go. It just, it said dog still. Uh, right. So. Uh, we have points for it to spend. Okay. Bonus to health and health regen. Because it is a relentless killer. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Uh, what should we go for? We could go for death blow. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yay, he's still maxed out. We love it. He is aggressive AF. Uh, wait, he's only got three things as his preset? War dog. Sure. Even then, though, that's only five things. What's the point of me buying the other things? Uh... I mean, does precise striking even work when you're a dog? I don't know. I mean, whatever. You know what? Let's just... We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. We are Chadley fucking Chaddington with so much, like, everything that it doesn't even matter. We're not gonna... We're not gonna die. We're gonna be fine. Chadley Chaddington never dies. And you'd think that we wouldn't just be standing there, but no. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, what's up here? Small clearing. Flemeth's demise. Flemeth saved you during the first stages of the Blight, and her daughter Morrigan her helped nurse you and Alistair back to health. However, when travelling with Morrigan, you learned that Flemeth was an abomination who had sacrificed her daughters to preserve her own unnatural life. You agreed to confront Flemeth before she could sacrifice Morrigan, and found the enigmatic old crone at her hut in the wilds. 
After a short exchange, she shapes shapeshifted into a high dragon for the ensuing battle, and with difficulty, much difficulty, and like an hour and a half of lost progress, or something depressing like that, you killed her. So much about Flemeth remains a mystery. Standing in front of her deserted home in the marsh sent a shiver up your spine, like someone walking over a grave. Morrigan said she wasn't actually dead though, right? Uh, he has returned to your side after some time spent in the kennels in Denerim. Well then why did he lose his name if, he, if it is him returning to our side? Ferelden lost many of war- many- Lost many of war dogs during the blight and kennel masters selected your prize town to strengthen their packs. He has been mated with female hounds from all over Ferelden and aside several litters of puppies. Woofer you Chad! Wait, but I named you Woofer Junior because I thought you were a new dog. But you're the same dog. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're still Woofer the Eldest, but you've now been named Junior. I'm so sorry about this tragic turn of events. Hello? Uh, you're not Morrigan. What are you, a Leliana wannabe? Woofer, bite! Not another step. What are you doing here? Uh, hopefully Morrigan. Call off your hound, Shem. Lower your weapon. Easy there, boy. Let's let's be nice. Easy, boy. Fine, I'll start then. I am Ariane, of the Dalish people. My keeper sent me to find Asha Belinar, the woman of many years. Mm. Oh, right, she's talking about Flemeth. Uh... Flemeth is dead. Eh. Let's see what she says to that. Many have tried to kill Asha Belinar in the past. Do not claim victory until a few centuries have passed with no sight of her. We thought she could help us find her daughter, Morrigan. The young witch has caused trouble for my clan. Has she earned your ire as well? I love her. Ah. Oh, they say she is beautiful. But I have never heard anyone claim she is capable of love. Morrigan stole an ancient book my clan has guarded since the days of Arlathan. We were the only ones with such a piece of our history. Everything we once had. All legacy of our ancient magics were stripped from us. First by the Tevinter Magisters, then by the Wretched Circle. And Morrigan took what little was left. What's so special about this book? How do you know Morrigan stole it? Probably because it's a book with magic in. For almost 2,000 years, the Dalish people have been wanderers, a shadow of what we once were. This book, as much of a mystery as it is to us, is one of the only clues on how to reclaim that past. My keeper, Solon, says it was a treatise on something the ancients called Alluvian. The word is as old as the book itself, and its meaning has been lost, save perhaps to Morrigan. How'd you know she stole it? One month ago, she visited our clan in the name of friendship and took great interest in our history. She knew exactly what she was looking for. <laughs> yeah, that sounds the like Morgan. allowed her to see the book. Two nights later, it was gone. So what now? Help me. We both want Morrigan, and we can aid each other. The Book of Alluvian was reclaimed from my clan by an elven mage who stole it from the Circle of Magi before defecting. He said other similar treasures remain in the library, but they would never allow a Dalish to view them. Perhaps you will meet a different reception. Um, I'm from the Circle. I'll get us in. Or they have to let me in, I'm a Grey Warden. Which matters more to them, that I'm a Grey Warden or that I'm from the Circle? Probably that I'm a Grey Warden. Masirinus, I look forward to working with you. Woof. Alright. New companion acquired. Uh, discovered the woman. Stolen ancient book. Da da da. Go to the circle's library. Um, we don't need to level her. She's got stuff. Girl's best friend. <laughs> Belonged to Ariane's father, a renowned Dalish swordsman. He taught her that her sword, if treated right, would be her best friend for life. And ruin, rain, rather, of petals. Razor sharp sword, once called rain of blood. Found the name barbaric, renamed the sword when it passed to her. What the fuck is messy kills? Plus three strength, plus three damage, and messy kills. Weird. Uh, how does, like, 
Wait, am I not using Vigilance? Oh, that's weird. My shit just wasn't equipped. Vigilance and... Uh... Metal Kite Shield? No. Landsmeet Shield. That's the one. That is the one. Okay, uh... Is white steel tier 9 or tier 8? No, that's tier 8. We have... Well, that's a great sword. Do we have any other... No, you know what? Let's just let her have what she has. I don't suppose you want any heavy plate armor. No, you're good. Your armor's pretty... pretty... decent. Receive this helmet as a gift of the last Arlathevnen... Ar Arlath... Arlathven? When all the Dalish clans met. Oh wait, that's a thing? All the Dalish clans just gather together? So kind of like all our things, all our groups gather together for a lands meet, all their groups gather together for an Arlathven? Gauntlets of the True Path. Once defended her keeper Solon from a belligerent Templar. She says she spared the man his life and only took his gauntlets. However, it's hard to tell if she's telling the truth. Fuck the Templars. Uh, her armor bears the mark of the Dalish craftsman who created it for her. She's extremely proud of this set of chain and has taken great pains to keep it in good repair. And her favourite boots are worn and mud splattered from her travels. She insists they're still the most comfortable boots in all of Thedas. Nice. Little bit of background info on her. This is made from the first bear she killed. This amulet bears the symbol of Mithal, elven goddess of protection and justice. Her mother refused to let her leave on her search for Morrigan without it. Gave this ring to her before she left. It is enchanted. And engraving on the ring, but Ariane refuses to let you see it. Ooh. Interesting. From a special someone, perhaps? Okay, cool. Chests. The contents of the chest have been long since been removed. Bed doesn't look like it's been slept in for years, except for the recent intrusion. The whole place looks abandoned. For years, you say? How long after the main game does Witch Hunt take place? The only place in this hut not covered in a fine layer of dust is around the fireplace. Looks like it was lit recently. Like, if this hasn't been used in years, then that would imply this takes place years after the main game. Is this after... I guess this is after we leave. Are we no longer the Warden Commander? Is this, like, long, long time later, I guess? That is the... Oh, okay. Well, time to one-shot all of you. Maybe not you. Any regular bitches are going to be getting one shot at this point. Don't even fucking try me, motherfuckers. Have you seen my stats? They are thick. They are girthy. Circle Tower. I'm guessing because this is a uh, short DLC apparently, I'm guessing there's no uh, new locations like there were for Awakening. Welcome to Ferelden's Circle of Magi. Suck, please. Keep your hound under control. Some of the apprentices are easily startled. And I see you have a Dalish elf with you. Is that a problem? She can be trusted. What is that supposed to mean? Most Dalish are common thieves? As you say, the Circle is glad to have you as a guest. As you can see, things are much changed from when you were last here. Yeah, they've got ruder fucking guards. Where's Gregor? Gregor is in Denerim. Attending to some important business. My name is Hadley. I lead the Templars in the Knight Commander's absence. Oh, right. So, I don't like you. I need to go to the library. If you're looking for a book, you can start in the Index section. As the Warden Commander, oh, I still you am and your Warden guests okay. are free to explore the first floor of the tower without an escort. Good day to you. Alright, time to go to the second floor. Bitch, do what I want. Fuck I the Templar. I see Templars. why did not want me to come here. It is all too tempting to overturn the tight order of their little world. <laughs> Do it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Who gives a shit? Don't you have something more important to do? You can't open it, can you? No. Hey, it's him. The one who was involved in the Jowan incident. Oh, yes. The Jowan, <laughs> Jowan incident. Now there's a mistake of nature if I ever saw one. Fucking banter. Oh, he wasn't so bad. Good for a laugh, if I remember. 
If you ever lose Jowen, you can always find him flailing about in the giant gulf between his intentions and their actual consequences. <laughs> Funny how the Templars never thought of that when he ran away. Sure. Uh, expert Barrier Rune. Chance to avoid missile attacks. Uh, manuscript copy. Title is Antivan or maybe Nivaran. Salable but not uniquely noteworthy. What the fuck is salable? Do, do, do. Okay. How much inventory space do we have right now? 91. Okay. We got we got a bit. We got 30 odd. Not like we've had a chance to sell anything in a long time. Apparently he once took on a lady pirate and three greased nugs. Between the sheets. <laughs> no. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Who are they talking about there? Were they talking about me? I was not. Oh, all right, a little. You have to admit, it's tempting, right? All these mages, so complacent, thinking they're so important. <coughs> you think I need to relax? Well, maybe. Hmm? I can't. I never took Woofer anywhere because I'd rather have the human companions, or, you know, not humans necessarily, just the non dog companions for the actual banter, but I didn't expect there to be banter with the dog companion here. You are well, I hope. Oh, hi! Enchantment? Enchantment! Sandal, what are you doing here? Enchantment! Enchantment! Yes. Where's Bodan? Bodan is trading in Redcliffe. If you're interested in his goods, I believe Sandal has some of them to offer you. Pog? Can you enchant something for me? Enchantment! Okay, that's all good. Uh, we've got that rune. Let's put on the armor and let's put on chance to avoid missile attacks. Lovely jubbly. Uh, she's not got any slots, has she? No. What are you selling? Hello? Game? There we go. Uh, what the fuck is that name? Pure Bitch Brain? Uh, what has he got at the moment? I have no idea. God damn it. Uh, Doggo, you are using the... Oh, that is what you're using. Okay. Enchantment? Don't care about any of that then. The spell ward. Five willpower, eight hail, three gen. Wait, this is like the same. This is the same. Oh, it is the same. It's literally they're both called the spell ward. Uh, vision issue. All right, no, nothing there that I want. Can't go into the basement. All right, onwards then. Man, it's been so long since we were here. It's been like 50 hours since we were here. Crazy. Look at all these books. In a I've library? Never seen so many. Yeah, crazy that. That's funny how that works. Come on, no time to waste. Ah oh, yes, here's where I summoned various fucking weird demon creatures. Is that a purebred Mabari? I wish I had one. They should allow pets in the tower. Don't you remember the Dragonling disaster? There's bits of Ivan still burnt onto the ceiling on the third floor. I'm talking about common pets. Dogs, cats, rats, owls, that sort of thing. What sort of mage has an owl as a pet? References! Psst, you, hound. You think you could sneak up on the mage over there? <laughs> How high do you think he'd throw those things if he turned around and saw you looming over him? Hmm? Oh, lighten up. This place is like a tomb. A few surprises would be good for them. Warden, your dog is lecturing me again. <laughs> it's actually good banter. Actually good banter between a person and someone who can't speak. Oh, good. Time to search for books. There's an index of books sorted alphabetically from A to F. All about weeds. This book is in the beginner's herbalism section. Balms for protection and enchantment. Unstable solutions section. Catalogue of elven relics. Mysterious artifacts section. 
Franny's Pultis Recipes, Potent Medicines section. Uh, beginner's Herbalism. All about weeds. Are any of these, do any of these have anything interesting that, aside from the one we're looking for? This is your brain on elf fruit. <laughs> Wait, we got something out of that? Do 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 do. Click them all. Raising nugs. Okay. Uh. Mythical creatures, trolls and fairies, Vartarel. It appears that from a company of Tavinta soldiers, only the cunning archers and magisters escape with their lives. Does this book have griffins in it? Stories of the now extinct griffin. Truth behind the stories. Superstition and legend and why they appear in our world. Okay. Uh, school of Entropy. Combining the strengths, comparing the strengths of two schools of magic. Waking Nightmares and True Torment. Advanced Entropy Spells. Understanding Entropy. Apprentice Stuff. Controlled Destruction. Hollowed out, inside is a note and a sinister ruby figurine. This will reveal a shrouded chest in the Apprentice Dorms. Inside is the final payment. I hope you choke on it. Take the figurine and note, or let someone else choke on it. I'll have it. Okay. Uh, can we go find that then? Are they... When they say the dorms, do they mean these bits we just were in? Ah, hello. Hello. Shrouded chest. Eight gold. Worth it. What a crazy amount of gold. I only have... 685. Four. Fucking eight, man. Mud. Mud ting. History. Uh, to enter treaties. Whoops, same thing. Uh, philosopher or tyrant. An exceptionally biased history of the Canary philosopher Coslin. Translating elven languages, different dialects, hammers and witches, Chantry's early days. Time and dust has weathered most of the ink, but what, we, what you can make out, it covers a war on the heretics of the old Imperium. Faded depictions of men in robes tremble before figures bearing an ominous symbol of a black eye in a sunburst. Hmm. Uh, walking bomb. Book has been vandalized and is no longer readable. Entropy rules. Okay. Spirit healers through the ages. Just what you'd expect. Folded near the back is an old sheet of notes scrawled by a young apprentice. In the margins are various sketches of Templars being eaten by a fierce tiger named Sir Pouncelot. Templars being eaten by Sir Pouncelot? Am I supposed to use Sir Pouncelot in combat? Quieting the mind. Okay, nothing there. I'm going to try using Sir Pouncelot in combat. Because I've never been able to figure out how you use him. But maybe the reason there's not been a use button there is because I haven't been in combat when I've tried. Micah. It's terrible what they did to him. They say he was force-fed so much lyrium he was bleeding from the eyes. His brain was liquefied in his skull. Nice. Can lyrium really do that? It can kill you, but... Well, you know how rumors are. Those pisses give us all a bad name. Now some Templar will take it out on an innocent mage and start the cycle all over again. Just what everyone enjoys. Uh, where is the section I'm looking for, man? You hear what's going on up in Kirkwall? Kirkwall? 
In the free marches, Dolt. Half of Ferelden fled there in the Blight. They say there's a refugee camp twice as big as the city. Whole place is run by Templars, though, so no one is getting in. They heard what happened here. Made them kind of jumpy. Everyone's a critic. Hmm? It's gotta be here, right? Yeah, here it is. Mysterious artifacts. Talismans of Ancient Tevinter. Chastened charms. Superstitions. Uh, scale and bone. Crafting the high dragon. Contains complex recipes for crafting items from parts of a dragon's carcass. And the one we want. Catalogue of elven relics. Written in a dialect you I cannot read. I recognize the character on this page. I think it makes up part of the word Illuvian. Is this elvish? I think so. The script is strange. But it must be. This is a library, isn't it? Perhaps another book could help us translate this. Ah. Fuck. Where did we see the other book on the languages? It was... Shit. Which one was it? Was it down here? No, it must be... There isn't any here. Around here, then? History? Uh, languages. Nice. Okay, now what? Translate the Elven Relics book. How? Come on, no time to waste. Oh, it just there's an arrow pointing this way. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, I have. Oh, we didn't take that book with us. We have to translate it here. Right. Uh, boop. You locate a chapter on Illuvian. Oh, who let a dog in here? And what are you doing? Be careful. Be careful with what? You're in my light, bitch. Wait, I know you. You're the Grey Warden Mage. The hero. Yeah, drop this your fucking knees, mate. Didn't they teach you proper care of antique volumes in the first year? Didn't they te you, teach you not to piss me off? People save the country and suddenly they think they can abuse priceless books all willy-nilly. Uh, look, I'm in the middle of something important. Hmm. Browsing the chapter on the Illuvians. No one's actually found one, you know. You know what Illuvian is? It's old elvish for seeing glass. Mirror. Your keeper couldn't even translate the word for mirror? It's a 2,000-year-old dialect. She's right. The word is from the lost language of Arlathan, forgotten over eons of slavery. I only know a few dozen words of it, and I'm the circle's linguist. Illuvian isn't just any mirror. It's a special kind. When the Imperium sacked Arlathan, they took these mirrors and tried to unlock their power. But all they could use them for was communication over long distances. Okay. Why would she be interested in that? Ah, you have a friend with a special interest. Maybe she needs to talk to someone. <laughs> My people crossed paths with another Dalish clan not too long ago. Two of their young hunters encountered a strange mirror in some ruins. One disappeared, the other became deathly ill. They never found the one, and the other died. They left Ferelden and traveled north to forget their sorrows. Okay, what about the mirror? Shattered. Destroyed. <gasps> Why? It was corrupted by the Darkspawn, beyond hope of recovery. They did it to protect others. Even broken, it could be used to find the others. No, don't get ahead of yourself, Finn. You have to be sure. Oh what? no, is he going to be joining our what party? Do you know? This is so exciting. Oh no, but he's we a dick. We have to get to the repository. Hadley has the key. Come on. No! <laughs> he's joined the party. Oh god. Ah, uh, sure. Five points to spend, eh? Well, there we go. You're now kitted up, kitted up with the good shit. And less likely to take damage. Is there anything else we want? Oh, he's got haste. Oh, ha, oh, oh, he's got haste. We have the double haste dream once again. The dream is alive. The dream is alive and well. Oh, yes. Oh, oh it's a beautiful sight. What was I saying, Finn? I was saying how much I love you. How happy I am that you've joined our team, because you are just the best, Finn. 
Oh man, me and Finn, we go way back. Way back. Vera. Uh, do you have anything better than Vera? Possibly. Uh, 5.40, better armor penetration, better range, better spell power, better rapid aim, plus 12 spell power, better, plus 20% cold damage, but yep, yeah, you know what? Lamppost in winter. On you go, mate. On you go. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I've never seen that staff design before. Usually there, there's just like a couple of different designs it could be. That's wildly different. Hmm. Wait, what did Vera say? Uh, Finn Staff, he named it Vera for some reason. He's probably got the hots for someone called Vera, I guess. Um, fur-lined gloves. They're lined with expensive fox fur, crafted to match his fur-lined boots. The gloves and boots were a gift from his father and a reward for surviving his harrowing. His immaculately clean robe. Perfectly spotless. Appears to have been recently starched and ironed. He proudly states he's enchanted to it and always... He's, encha he's enchanted to it. He's enchanted it to always remain wrinkle-free. Uh, that's the same. Cool. And you don't have a helmet, but you should. You definitely should. Um, because we don't want to look at you. Plus six magic, that's good. And plus seven armor. And plus one mana regen in combat. Fuck your immaculately clean robe, mate. You got that going instead. Um, the ghastly hat. Cold resistance, but negative willpower. No. Um... Do, do, do. The only thing we have is this, and it's cunning, so I don't really care about that. <laughs> he looks like such a knob. Nah, no, alright, I won't do it to you. I won't do it to you, mate. Alright, let's go chat with Fuckstick McGee over here. Hello, Fuckstick. Did I just not click this before? Hadley! Just the man I was looking for. Not looking very hard, were you? <laughs> I'm always here. <laughs> Get fucking told! <laughs> Good one. So I, um, I need to go into the repository. No. No? Why not? I'm not some drooling apprentice. It's because of me, isn't it? No. The Sentinels have been behaving erratically, so the repository is locked for everyone's safety. Oh. Well then. Uh... Sorry for bothering you. Uh, is there something I can do? I would certainly like to see the situation resolved, but I would hate to put you in danger. Motherfucker, you know that I killed an archdemon! ...functioning of the circle, so we've left it until we can spare more men. You know I can kill an archdemon! I can kill whatever the fuck's in there! Just give us the key, I can look after myself, man. Oh, very well. It's your next. But before you go, what's so important down there? None of the your statue. fucking business. It knows things about Tavinta, and I need to speak to it. All right. Be careful, and keep the mess to a minimum. You know that talking to inanimate objects is a sign of insanity. Not when it talks back. You think the statue talks to you? It's complicated. It wasn't always a statue. You'll see. I'm pretty sure we spoke to a statue, didn't we? This, that must be, like, I guess if you didn't play the Mage Origin... Warden? Then right now you'd be thinking, what the fuck are you on about? But I'm pretty sure that we did speak to a statue. Moving on. In our mage origin. Cheeky save. Okay, that's locked. I have a bad feeling about this place. <laughs> ah! We have to deal with this. Oh, it's actually something we can attack. It'll be done. Saving the day. Double haste is back, baby. Okay, that's the way to go. This is the phylacteries, we right? Did it. And these sentinels are going back to normal. We need to deal with the rest of the rips in the veil if we can. Old vials. This used to be where the phylacteries of the apprentices were stored. They've been moved to a more secure location. <laughs> Probably. We don't even know where they are anymore. Probably shouldn't have been just randomly here in the first place. 
Can I? You, neither of you can open chests, can you? Hmm. They put multiple locked chests around, but they don't give you a rogue? Oh, there's probably a rogue in here. Let me guess. This statue's going to come to life and he's going to be a rogue. Okay, let's not go too far. Landmark device. Your hound seems particularly in interested. Piss on it, mate. Piss on it. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? No. no. Do you? <laughs> uh, oh, no, of course not. Oh, that's funny. The prison is breached. I see the encroaching darkness. Wow. It does talk. Uh, hello? The, the shadow will consume all. Oh, this statue. Something is causing it distress. The tear's in the veil, most likely. The statue's useless until we mend the veil. Alright, let's go do that then. One out of six? Oh my god, okay. Going. Yes. What do I do now? What do I do now? And I'm off. My guy got hard stuck. I remember coming through here the other way, right? This was my first death. Pretty sure. We came in through that door. We came this way. Oh, no, actually, I didn't die. No, this was... No, I remember. Yeah, we... My character died, but I managed to get through and learned about how auto attacks work. <laughs> way back. Like 80 hours ago. Yes. All right. And I'm off. Oh, look. Not in that. Yes. I'm okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. What was through here? A crate with some shit. And I'm off. All right, my game. Really? I just got one banged? Oh, it moved. Going. <laughs> I thought I one banged it. I was like, what the fuck? Thirty-five physical resist? What the fuck? That's insane! Vestments of the Seer, 10 willpower, 7 magic, 10 armor, and 10 spell resist. Huh. This robe was stored for centuries in the Circle Tower's repository. Embroidery on the lining of the left sleeve marked this as having been a gift from Archon Valerius to a cherished friend. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll probably give it to Finn, I guess. Better magic. Better armor. And tons of willpower and spell resistance. It's your lucky day, mate. It's your lucky fucking day. And I'm off. That's gonna sweep me, shall we? Yeah! 
Is that the last one? Maybe one more. Oh no, here we are. That was the last one. Nice. Now we can speak to the statue. Should stop trying to kill us now. Hello. I am the spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and... Advisor to Archon Valerius, blah blah, fall of the house, yes, yes, we've been through that! Finn, greetings. Uh, you two have a close relationship? We've conversed before, on the Imperium. It's hard to get answers out of it, it requires passing all the grandiose mumbo-jumbo. We know where a broken Illuvian lies. Can it still be used to find the others? Scry, the broken glass, dagger sharp, will be your key. Broken glass from the mirror? Yes. The lights of Arlathan will illuminate the Scryer's path. The Archons possessed them, but they were misused, befouled. And lost, like so much the Imperium touched. Some were saved, carried by fugitives from the Elven city. Their sorrow awoke the stone, and her children sheltered them. They found a sanctuary in the deep halls of Kad Halash, now known as Kadash. There the lights of Arlathan lie. Shield Wasn't that a tyke? Worthy eyes. Ah, yeah. Uh, Kadash Tyke? It's not that old. So you know of it. Convenient. Goodbye, Finn. We will not speak again. Lol. Get fucking rejected. What? What's that supposed to mean? It means you're not going to speak again. I guess it means you're not coming back here. Are you going to die, Finn? I would not shed any tears if Finn died. Uh, obtain a shard of the broken Alluvian. Uh, find the lights of Arlathan. Alright. Uh, I guess this is the quickest way out. Now, mage, tell us what's going on. The Illuvians are linked, all of them. If you have one, you can find the others, if they still exist. But the one you know of is broken and corrupted, so we need something else to amplify the magic. The lights of Arlathan. Yes. How will this help us find Morrigan? Morrigan is interested in the Illuvians. We find them, we find her. Let me come with you. I can help. Please! I thought the mirrors were all destroyed. I can't pass up this chance at actually finding one. Man, I just had a really bad feeling that we're only going to find Morrigan right at the end of this DLC. I thought that the DLC would be beginning with us getting Morrigan into the party and spending a couple of hours with her. But now that we've gone all through this and we're not even close to finding her, I feel like she's just going to turn up right at the end and we're going to have a quick chat. And then it's going to be like, see you in Dragon Age 2 or whatever. I'm going to be really sad if that is what it is. I thought we were going to get to spend a bunch of time with her. Your knowledge would be helpful. I had permission to leave the tower to continue my research some time ago, but I never had the opportunity till now. I guess there's always a first time, huh? Ready to go when you are. I don't want to know about your first time, Finn. Hello, I need you to do some enchantment. Uh, because I got some sick new shit. Um... Wait, what are we what are we removing? We need to remove that one. And we're putting on Oh, wait. Oh, let's just put on an electricity damage then. I thought is it armor then? The one that I got? Uh 
Plus three armor and chance to avoid missile. Uh, let's take off the armor. Yes, 35 physical resistance. I'll have that, I reckon. Yeah, makes sense that that's armor. Herp to derp. Ariane. Does your name mean anything in Elven? Blessed creators, why does everyone ask that of people from other cultures? Oh, I didn't mean... What about you? Are you named after an honorable fish's appendage? <laughs> well, um, Florian Phineas Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire was a bit of a mouthful. Oh my and god. I was tired of the other apprentices calling me Flora. All right, Fauna. Okay, so we've got Kadash Taig or Elven Ruins. But it's Kadash Taig, right? We need to get that stuff before we can do the ruin stuff. I believe was the implication. Here we are again. What's that blue light? I'm not sure I like the deep roads. Fewer darkspawn than expected, but it feels like we're being watched. Fewer darkspawn than expected because stop? I agreed with the architect. Is this Kadash Taig? Ariane? This is it, according to the maps. Right, so I've uh, been going through my old notes. Um, and? And I came across this footnote. Apparently the elves would magically conceal relics of great significance, thus shielding them from unworthy eyes. And given what the Tevinters did, I'd say they count as unworthy. You don't say. Okay, uh, so the lights are under this enchantment? That's my hypothesis. But... They might just be buried in the ground, too. Actually, that's very likely. It looks like Kadash Taig was built on the ruins of Catalash. The lights of Arlathan could be miles below us. I liked the other theory more. If the elves concealed the relics with magic, only the blood of their kin will reveal them. Ariane, we need your blood. Excuse me? Just a few drops, that's it. Is this blood magic? Um, blood doesn't power the spell, it's just a component. It's certainly a grey area, so let's just keep this between the three of us, shall we? Sure. Four of us. <laughs> you share the same blood as the Arlathan elves, so you're the only one this enchantment might recognize. Fine. Just because hearing that gets me all tingly. A few drops. I'll be gentle. Why would you not let her do it herself? My spell will reveal vortices of magic. Standing in them should allow us to see the energy being drawn to the relics, which will lead us to them. Okay, seems convoluted. <laughs> Once we reach the influence of the lights of Arlathan, Ariane's blood will unveil them. But we have to be close. All right. Get fucked on. Now what is that? This is a lot greener than it was. <laughs> this was nowhere near this green when we came here with Shale. Interesting. This carving over here is an old dwarven dialect. If you find more writing like this, I could probably translate it. Piss on it. Well, I guess he has to go somewhere. Who's a good boy? A magical vortex. We can use it to reveal the energy flowing towards the light of Arlathan. Wait, but I saw one of these in the cutscene before you cast your spell. It's cheating. Do you see it? Can you follow the path? Uh, sure. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. The path is the only way we could go. I always thought dwarves must be dull. But this I wonder if it's the only way we can go. Okay, never mind. This is actually 
think something's here. Whoa, okay. Light of our lathan. Time oh, for more practice. Guardians. Going. The lights of our lap and our old lanterns. I didn't realize the statue was capable of being literal. Worn note. Origins and meaning are a mystery. The Kadash dwarves didn't even know they once had elves living here. Letters from the past. Commander Regnar of House Kadash, you are wise to send the relic you recovered. The Shaper 8 has compared the carvings on it to various records and believe them to be of elven origin, possibly thousands of years old. I would advise that you cease repair work on the warrior training grounds immediately and continue investigation. A team will be dispatched from Kalsha Rock as soon as possible, Shaper Warwick. Wouldn't this be remarkable enough to record in the memories? You'd think. I should study dwarven history when I return. And I'm off. Look at that lady. Strange to think of the dwarves giving shelter in this darkness to the elves who fled Arlathan. Okay, what do we got down here? Another fight? Or last one to kill it gets the prize. Yep. Boy do I hope the sound balancing is a bit better in the second game. Because, man, sometimes it just gets so Still loud. Burning after thousand. Let's see. But only occasionally. Usually, like, My in combat. Could not have been comfortable. I see one. Oh, you do? Nice. Oh, hindsight. You should be expecting this. Oh, look. Hi. And I'm off. All right. Disc, disc. Love to see ancient elven guardians shitting themselves and running away from me. Very funny. Born journal. Oh. Uh, the excavations are going well. I think Shaper Warwick se secretly hopes the artifacts will lead him to the lost city of Arlathan, despite Tevinter records that insist on its complete obliteration. Even if he found the site of the city, there would be little of any worth. As for the artifacts, they must have come to this area by trade. Kadash Tig is old, which was built upon the, an ancient settlement called Catalash. Lots of junk can accumulate over that much time, even elven junk. I bet there's one here. You don't seem to be that pleased to be out of the tower. Pay attention to where they're going. Yeah, no shit. I can't believe you just interrupted her. I wanted to hear what he had to say. Boo. Boo. Finn. Sorry. We're seeing the magical energy being drawn to the light of our lath. Over here, perhaps. Oh, what we could do if we hadn't lost this map. I wish we could question these ancients instead of killing them. No, me like kill. Me kill good. Hey, this is like playing hide and seek, isn't it? Sure. Oh well. Wait, didn't it go there? Oh no.
So you've never been outdoors? Till now? I have been. But just don't care much for it. We had to do stretching exercises. I got sweaty. There was dirt. Ew. During my apprenticeship, they thought getting fresh air and exercise at least once a week would do us good. Fresh air and sunlight is good for you. You know what feels fresh air in the summer? Mosquitoes. Hungry for sweet, untested mage flesh. Well, when you put it that way... Luckily, it didn't last long. One day, an apprentice made a break for it. Jumped off the dock and started swimming for the shore. The Templars couldn't jump in after him. Not with the armor on. Finally found him a week later. We stopped having to go out after that. <laughs> and Mage up. Anders never stopped hey! trying to escape, though. <laughs> I've removed since his last attempt. Oh, good old Anders. Also, I've never heard anyone pronounce mosquitoes mosquitoes. That was weird. And I'm off. Got some mosquitoes. Uh, anything? There we go. Come to me, oh sweet l I think Here something's comes. watching us. Ah! Ah! Alright, now this is pretty bad. We have four lights of Arlathan. I hope that's enough. We still need the shard of the Illuvian, though. Let's head to the Elven Ruins when you're ready. Okie dokie. Hey, wake up. No, fuck you. Yoink. Okay, Elven Ruins. Just a quick trip across the entire country. No biggie. Oh my god, we're going the long way as well. The fuck is this route? As the crow flies, people. These are the ruins. The broken Alluvian should be around here. Oh, I'm so excited. If you Same. hate the outside so much, why come with us? Couldn't pass up a chance to learn more about the ancient elves and the mirrors. Besides, the company is good. Thanks. He meant me. I met the dog. <laughs> he meant the dog! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! I... How fucking dare you? How fucking dare? A corpse? You want to piss on a corpse? Oh, go ahead then. Do you ever wish you had the freedom to piss anywhere and not have people stare at you? You've already no. said this one, Do mate. You? Uh, no, of course not. Hello. Going. Yes. Decapitation. Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly. Kill them. God damn it. Going. All right. Yes. Huh. These people were very sick. Yes. Now this will be bad. Don't think it's contagious, do you? Nah. Surely not. What the fuck are you doing with your attacks? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, mage bitch died? Mage bitch fucking died.
I'm here. Yes. God damn it. Oh wait, no, I did actually. What's happening? My other stuff is gone though. Rude. Holy fuck, walking around without haste feels like death. Oh my goodness, how did I survive half the game without haste? This is horrible. Come on, haste, you can do it. You can fucking do it. Perhaps <laughs> we should have a drink since we've stopped. Ah, this reminds me of that time. Yes. Okay, so that's the way to go. Let's just see if we miss anything down these tunnels. Are you daft? Wait, key required? Wait, did I just happen to go the right way? Did you not get there that way? Gotta find out. Curiosity must be sated. Don't think so. Hmm. Ah. Sorrows of Arlathan? No one uses a bow, do they? No. Hmm. It's done, naturally. Over with. Oh, I needed the key to get through here anyway. Oh, this is it. Anything behind it? A way out, okay. So this was the mirror in this, like, yeah, yeah, okay. It's been smashed. I can't believe this is one of the Illuvians. It's magnificent. And broken. Mostly broken. With the shard and the lights of our lath, and we should be able to scry for an unbroken mirror. This looks like a suitable place to do the ritual. We can start whenever you're ready. Oh my god, there we go. <laughs> Get ready! Born ready. This is hard. Bleeding. Oh, look, a rip in my robe. What happened to Ariane? Give us your blood. Who cares if it hurts? It's my blood. That's different. Huh? <laughs> Did it work? I've pinpointed another Illuvian. It's in the Dragonbone Wastes. The Tevintas probably moved it there to see if the ancient Dragonbones could enhance the Illuvian's power. Sure. Uh, I've been there. I didn't see one. It might be hidden. Or only appear to those who know its location. What do we do when we're there? We examine the mirror. It might give clues to what Morrigan's doing. If she's looking for the Illuvians as well, she might even be there. Shall we? Well, we can hope she is. Quest updated! Let me just get this again. Your name is Florian Phineas... Horatio Aldebrandt Esquire. Can't forget the Esquire. Father insisted. Did your parents hate you? No. They adore me. In fact, I'm sure my name is a result of overwhelming love replacing good sense. Yeah, that must be it. Boop, boop, boop. Up to the wastes. You absolute waste man. Okay. We are back here so soon. 
Lovely place. We're here. Keep your eyes open for dragons. And mirrors. Boy, piss on the dragon skull. Perhaps the dog needs some privacy. Now he's happy. Finally something that can swallow me whole. Going. Met a dragon worshipper before? Not much for small talk, are they? Why would anyone worship a dragon? Dragons are big, powerful, and they breathe fire. Some people are easily impressed. Not you, though, of course. Oh, I never see these traps. Good job, everyone. Oh, it fell down. I hope I know what I'm doing. Yes, going. And I'm off. Huh. All right. And I'm off. Now at you. All right, that was a bunch of people. Volcanic Dragonbone Cleaver. Two-handed. quite funny to think that like we just cleared this place out so these people must have just moved in and then we arrive and clear it out again <laughs> that is a little bit funny just a smidge god damn it Okay, moving on, moving on. This is where we fought the high dragon. It'd been snorting lines of coke. What is that? Uh, a Vartero? It can't be, they're only legends. Clearly it not. is said they were rock and tree, wind and rain, given form and breath by the elven gods to protect their people. Well, hey, they did make one new thing for this DLC. <laughs> to protect their people? Then why does it look like it's going to eat you? Because it's going to eat you. Fuck it up. Yes. Well, can I loot it? Can I loot it? 
No? No looters? Oh! The Vartarel. According to Ariane, the elven gods created Vartarels to guard the elves and the most treasured artifacts. They are so rare that even the Dalish believe they are only legends. The one you encountered was especially vicious, attacking even Ariane, one of the people it was created to protect. Why exactly is anyone's guess? I mean, they probably just programmed it to attack any people around. <laughs> I don't know. I say programmed. It's not a machine, but you know what I mean. It was created to attack just anyone nearby or something. The center of power. Was that? That wasn't what it was called before, was it? Oh, it just takes us directly to the Broodmother's Joint. Alright. Oh, shit. I see. Okay, hang on. There was left and right. We couldn't go left and right here before, could we? The Broodmother was sat in front of a fucking Illuvian thing and we just didn't check it out. We just killed her and everyone turned away and did a cool guys don't look at explosions thing. And then we hard cut to credits. And we could have just walked a few steps forward. And that would have saved all this time. Motherfucker. Oh shit, hello. Here she is. What's she doing? Why isn't she... Luvian. Why is she just stood around? And it's glowing. We should... Hello, my love. Did you miss me? Is that a different skirt? I think she's expecting you. I should have turned off fucking combat magic. Look. God damn it. That's definitely a bit of a different outfit she's no got further, going on. Please. One more step and I leave. For good this time. Hello to you too, Morrigan. I assume you know what this is. I have gone to great lengths to find and activate this portal. Give me reason and I use it. And you will not be able to follow. Okay. The portals to where? Why haven't you left if that's true? Why haven't you left, if that's true? I remain to see if it was truly you. I had to know. Tell me, why did you come? Uh, I couldn't let it end like that. And you once argued with me that love is not weakness. I will never understand you, and you will never understand me. Uh... We helped each other even so. Yes. I suppose we did. I would not even know where to begin explaining. She didn't betray us. She told us that she'd be going. Like, betrayal implies some kind of subterfuge or, like, trust being broken. She told us exactly what she was going to do and then did it. Uh... What is your plan? I want to know. Well, I mean, you could tell someone... I mean, that's that description was kind of bad. You can tell someone that you are going to betray them, and then betray them, and it's still betrayal. But she... What she told us wasn't... I don't know. Betrayal is a strong word, I think, for that. What is your plan? My plan is to leave and prepare the child for what is to come. Uh, Such what is preparation to come? preparation requires time and power. I must have both if I am to be successful. More than this, I dare not say. Even to you. Oh, we can ask multiple things. Okay, well then let's ask this. Why did you betray me? I did not betray you. <laughs> I <laughs> yep. left. Just as I said I would. That's what I said. Uh, you did use me to get what you wanted, but like... I'm down to be used again, you know? I fought with you. I put my life on the line to aid your quest. And then the battle came too soon. I had no choice but to go to you. And I did not want to see you die. And here you stand, alive. So do not speak to me of betrayal. Where's the kid? He is safe and beyond your reach. 
All you need to know is that the child is an innocent. He knows nothing of the destiny that lies before him. What is this destiny? That's not good enough. Because the child is yours. I understand. I will not share my plan with you. I dare not. If your trust is insufficient, then your anger will have to do. Then allow me to provide you a warning. Tis Flemeth you should beware of, not me. Hunt her if you hunt anyone. Flemeth is dead. Not really. Uh, I'm not here to talk about your mother. And yet talk we must. I thought I knew what Flemeth planned. I thought what she craved was immortality. It's and not. yet I was wrong. So very wrong. She is no blood mage. No abomination. She is not even truly human. Oh. The ritual was but a means to an end. A herald for what is to come. What is to come? What's going to happen? Change is coming to the world. Many fear change and will fight it with every fiber of their being. But sometimes, change is what they need most. Sometimes, change is what sets them free. Is that what you want, to be free? What I want is... Is unimportant now. She wants me! I cannot tarry longer. The time has come for me to go. Take me with you. You cannot know what you ask. It would be better if you stayed. For you. For us both. I want to be with you, no matter what. Then come, my love. We will face the future together. God, that looks so dumb with combat magic. <laughs> okay. So this is an actual choice here. I could have not. Wait, that's it? You motherfuckers! God damn it, so I was right, it is just meet Morrigan for a quick chat and then the thing ends. Oh my god, what was through there? Are you fucking kidding me? And that's it, that's the last DLC. So we will have to wait until, I guess, Dragon Age 2, but then the games aren't like super connected, are they? I don't even know... Hmm... Like, it's obviously all in the same world and stuff, and stuff does have impact throughout, like, choices made here, there will be, you will see things that are, like, the repercussions of that in future games, as far as I'm aware, but not like, it's not like, and now I go into, it's not like Mass Effect, where it's, and now I go into Mass Effect 2 with my Shepard and continue the same story that we were already continuing, it's, and now I go into Dragon Age 2 and it's, like, a new character in a new place with new things going on, and there's some links, but, like, as far as I'm aware, it's not, like, a really continuous thing. So, when the fuck are we going to find out what's going on with that? That is a massive cliffhanger to leave it on if the games do not follow directly on. Which they don't, as far as I'm aware. So, hmm. Strange. Okay. Well, that was alright. I mean, it, it wasn't anything... It wasn't anything new, really. It was just a bit of story about Morrigan and a few little combat rooms, but nothing really much... So it was fine. It was definitely the best of the non-awakening DLCs. The best short DLC. But uh, nothing to really write home about, I feel. I just, I'm really curious when we're going to find out what the fuck was up with that. Huh. But anyway, that is it. That is Origins, Awakening, Darkspawn Chronicles, sort of, Leliana's Song, Golems of Amgarak, and Witch Hunt all complete. And it took, what, about three months? I'm not sure exactly what part this will be, but... It took about three months to get through. 
So, assuming that Dragon Age 2 is also about three months, that would take us to, what's this going to be? This will end at like early-ish August, so September, October, November, and then Inquisition would be December, January, Feb, maybe? But Inquisition, I'm pretty sure, is, is longer, right? So maybe we might be like into March or potentially even later <laughs> by the time this full full series playthrough ends, uh, which is a long time away still, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. So, final wrap-up thoughts, Dragon Age Origins as a whole. I thought it was excellent. I really did. The combat was sometimes kind of annoying, uh, but that was my only real negative, was that I didn't really like the combat stuff. But uh, the story, the characters, the world, locations, the lore, there's so much lore. It's mind-blowing to me how much lore that Bioware is able to create for a new world. Like, same with Mass Effect. There's just so much to learn, so much history and background and all these different species and everything that uh, have all this, yeah, history that you learn about as you go through and shapes how things go and everything. And like, it's just, it's mad. How, the amount that they are able to write that is just backstory that lots of people may never see. I bet very few people read every single codex like I do. I bet a lot of people just play through and get the, get the main story but don't get the history of it all. It's like, it's so much work they put in for something that must get skipped quite a lot, but I massively appreciate it because as someone who does enjoy learning all the history and the world and everything, and that's that's fucking lovely for me. So yeah, overall, very good game. Very good game. Really enjoyed it. And I'm incredibly excited to see how things go with Dragon Age 2 and what threads are picked up there, what, what is new, what has changed. And uh, yeah, I've heard Dragon Age 2 is like the black sheep of the Dragon Age series because EA forced it out the door in like a year, a year and a half, something like that. Like, way too little time. So, I've been warned that corners had to be cut and that there may be some issues on that front, but uh, we will see. I will, I will form my own opinions, as always, as we go through. But that is it for Dragon Age Origins. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there is the Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, buying of all these games, all that jazz would be massively appreciated. And yeah, I will see you next time for the beginning of a new adventure in Dragon Age 2. Thanks for watching. See you then.